What is up guys? Get one bursted pro player apathy back in the building with another video today and today we got a special video Top 10 players in black ops 3. We actually have a list me and jcap or I guess mainly jcap because he was the one that posted it But we actually pretty much created the list we were talking to each other and we're like how should we rank this list and He posted it on Twitter some of you guys saw it some of you guys did it but that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The top 10 players at Black Ops 3. And the way this is going to be ranked, it's not throughout the whole game. Because obviously that'd be a lot, the list, the list be a lot different. It'd be a lot, lot different. But we're more going to be talking about kind of like the last three or four months of Black Ops 3. Kind of like an end list. Like the top 10 players at the end of Black Ops 3. Like who are the top 10 players right now. So that's kind of how the list has been formed based off the last like four events. So we're going from Anaheim, Season 2 Finals, Orlando, and Champs. I think those are the only four events. So basically, all based off those events, we're going to be doing this list. So, with no further ado, and no more to do, let's get right into the list. But before I do, actually, I want to say something real quick. Hope you're all having a marvelous day. Make sure to enjoy life to the fullest, like always. But seriously, now let's get into this. So, at your number one, of course, you have your number one contestant. It's going to be John. John, a lot of you guys know. Wow. I mean, been performing pretty well all year. Has had dominant games, just dominant performance at tournaments. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm so happy for him to be my teammate. He's just He's been a star player. He's performing really well. Obviously, he could have a little brain fart sometimes and do some little things that pisses us off or it's not that smart. But overall, you know, he's just such a talented player and such a great guy. So, John's number one. Now, for number two, we're going to have Slasher. Slasher, pretty much in the same boat as John. I mean, uh, just throughout these past couple months, after Anaheim. Anaheim, he didn't play too well. We all know this. He, he Anaheim was the kind of his, I guess he woke up at the event. Plus, he didn't have school anymore for summer, so he started uh, playing a lot more and going hard. But um, he's just been taking over. Season 2 Finals, Orlando, Champs. I mean, the band's been a beast. He was, he's been on a mission. Uh, just such a great player overall. So then we got number three. We're going to have Formal. Not much to say about this guy. Formal's a fucking beast from the West. Uh, the, I mean, just a dominant player overall. Great communication. Great teamwork. Uh, you know, he's been having throughout the whole year. Not even these past couple months. Or even the, as well these past couple months. But throughout the whole year, he's just been having crazy performances. You know, dominating games. Just doing, like... Just being an amazing player overall. Now, number four, uh, Cap and I agreed that I am number four. Apathy, yes, Apathy is your number fourth player. It was kind of hard to decide between me and Scump. Um, we kind of had Scump at number four at first, but then I don't know. I guess it's based off champs and based off season two finals where we won both of those events and I played played very well. Uh, I guess he just decided to give me the, the fourth spot. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit. It's kind of hard to decide who's number four because I think Scump is an amazing player. Such, so very, like, very, very talented. Um, so it's kind of hard to decide. But, yeah, we, we just, I don't know, man. What's, uh, I'm number four, okay? I'm number four. That's what we decided on. That's what it is. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. Then at number five, we got Scump the Beast. Uh, Scump just been an animal all year long. Um... I mean, he's just a great player of all, man. He's always been a great player, just a monster in general. Has a passion for Call of Duty. He's always grinding and making sure to be on his game. So, obviously, he takes that spot. At number six, we got Krim. Uh, Krim has his moments. He has his dominant moments. This game, he has, it's not a, like, it hasn't been his best game. But he just has his dominant moments where he takes over, just completely starts shitting on everyone. And just it's, it's, it's insane to watch, and it's an amazing to see. He just becomes a fucking robot from, from the fucking future and starts terminating shit. But yeah, he got number six. Uh, number seven, we got Slacked. Slacked, uh, this past couple months has just been a monster. Uh, overall, he's been a very good player. He's very consistent. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, even though he was pretty good at the past couple games in AW, he was pretty good, especially through, through the end of the year. Uh, this game, he's just been grinding more. He's been really showing up, you know, just overall being very consistent and respawn. 
just having dominant performances and you know helping his teams to victory. So number eight, we got Cap. A lot of you guys know Cap. Uh, not the best when it comes to individual talent. Obviously, that's why he's kind of ranked up a little bit higher than others. But he's very knowledgeable, great teamwork, great, great player overall, and he's just a, a very he's he's a beast, man. Like he does what needs to be done to win. He doesn't necessarily care about stats. He just he communicates very well. Does the team plays, and this cap is such a factor. And when it comes to winning, like he may not get a lot of credit, but he is. So for number nine, we got Karma. Karma, obviously, he at the start of the game he was very consistent. He was, I mean, making crazy, 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 crazy plays. The more people learned, the more people caught up. I felt like he slowed down a little bit. Uh, still, ha still makes incredible plays. Like still has his moments where he makes crazy plays to win a game. But he's just not the, the most consistent player at times, and he's just not like the most doesn't get all the like massive kills all the time. So that's why he got number nine. But and but obviously he's still a very good player, very talented. And then number ten, you got Aqua and Classic. Ooh, get bursted. And the reason it was very hard to decide which one of them are ten, because sometimes we Aqua is such a beast, Classic such a beast, but they both been tearing it up all year. They've both been tearing it up these past couple of uh, events. A lot of you guys watch their gameplay. Aqua has this moment where he completely takes over a fucking map. And you're like, how the hell is this even possible? Like, I can't even do that. And then there's times where Classic just making crazy plays, popping three pieces. And just he's just such a playmaker and he helps his team win. So that's the top 10 list, guys. That's what we made. And, you know, throughout the year, that's what we decided these past couple months, you know, based off the performances. Uh, me and Cap, I will say me and Cap because we it was, it was not only Cap. We pretty much decided on this top 10 list. The only thing that I can kind of argue is maybe Scump should go ahead of me and be 4th and I'm 5th. But fuck it. I'll stay 4th. Uh, hope you all have an amazing day. Hope you enjoy our top 10 uh, Black Ops 3 players. Uh, you know, leave in the comments down below what you think. If you have any other opinion. Because I'm sure you freaking do. A lot of you guys, guys might disagree. But we're being pretty realistic here. We try to be a, a, the least biased as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you all have an amazing day and I'm out. Peace.